I get lovely starting, kind of like mystical. Just, I'll definitely download this. Ah, oh, bop, bop. But then the chorus gave the edge I wanted. That's a lovely beat. It's really cool. Hey Eurovision fans, it's time for another Eurovision reaction video. And today we're checking out some of the songs from the Czech national final, ESCZ, which is happening on Monday, December 4th. So far we have three potential songs which have been released. We're gonna listen, react, and see how we think they could do in that national final if they are the real songs. So let's keep you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tom. I'm an Irish Eurovision analyst and you can find all of this stuff on my Eurovision channel. So slightly unusual situation here where the names of the seven artists competing in the Czech national final have been released, but we don't have any other information about the song names or what the songs are or anything like that. But as usual, the Eurovision sleuths online have been rooting around and they managed to find songs from three of the artists, Ellie, Midi and Thomas Rob which have been released after September 1st. So they're speculating that those could be the songs that are gonna be in the national final. We don't have any confirmation. Perhaps these songs are just other songs that weren't submitted. In any case, we're gonna check them either way because if they are the songs from the national final, we wanna to react to them. And even if they aren't, it's still good to get an idea of what the artists are like, what's their musical style, what could they potentially send. So sorry that there's not gonna be a video with all seven of them together, but it appears that the Czech national final doesn't want to release all the songs before the national final, so I'm not sure exactly what's gone on. But I do have a tweet here from Ahmed Halun, which is the Czech head of press, and he is saying, if you're gonna share what you think is a Eurovision song of an artist, please use the official channels or links so they can monetize the stream to support the artist. So if you do like any of the three songs today, go listen to them on the artist's official channel so they get the streams and they get that 0 0.003 bling bling money. So I may need to distort or clip the audio to comply with copyright, but I'll do the minimum possible. And if I do do any modifications, I'll put this episode up on my Patreon with all of the original audio. So go check that out. Okay, so first up we've got Midi. I'm not sure how to say that name, if it's Mighty or Midi or what. This song is called Red Flag Parade, which is such a cool title. <laughs> it's really cool. It's like proper one of the best titles already this season. I don't recognize any of the songwriters, unfortunately. The video is on his his or her channel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a girl or a boy or anything. Wait, let me do a quick check of who Midi are. So she is a fiery red-headed lady. So I'll post her picture up here. Pop. Red flag parade. Wanna know my secret bang. Ooh. Oh, damn. Edgy. Whoa. Yes, bitch. Ah. Oh. Bop! Bop! Oh, what a great start to the season. Red flag, red. Okay, so it's red flag as in like when you're dating. This is really cool. Really lovely, fun production. It's got like a bit of an edge to it. Got a great beat to it as well. This is really strong start so far. Oh, some electronic production in there as well. Mm. I don't know if the chorus has enough like massive impact, but I'm liking it so far. It's got definitely interesting, fun, kind of quirky. Poison, poison, poison. Okay, I'll pick, try and pick up on the lyrics, because the lyrics sound cool. Yeah, the lyrics are super fun. I think he's talking about like a real toxic girl. <laughs> is it a red flag bro? That is a great lyric. And we're her marching band, so they're supporting this red flag girl. It's a disaster bop girl and they, they love her. I think I like the verses more than the chorus. It's still super joint, it sounds really Czech. This kind of like slightly unusual production, just being a little bit different, it feels Czech to me. I wish that electronic elements of the chorus were just a bit punchier. It's still really cool, I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, some bubbles going off. She's having a bubble bath with her red flags. <gasps> Climax. Yeah, not as much gross as I'd like into the last course. 
I can see myself downloading this though, it's definitely fun. They say she's a witch. Which is a bitch. I think they're saying bitch there. <laughs> okay, really, really, really fun. Definitely the strongest part for me of that was the lyrics. I love that idea of a red flag parade. You know, in case you don't know, red flag is like um, when you're talking to someone on a dating site or something like that, and they send off a signal, which is like alarm bells. She's got a red flag parade, and she's got so many red flags. She's just like a big mess. Her life is kind of crazy, but they stan her anyway. So I kind of like that lyrics. It's really, really fun. I wish the song had grown a little bit more because I did feel like the intro really grabbed my attention and then it kind of was just very similar for three minutes. I didn't feel like the evolution in that. Now that's the type of thing that she can maybe portray on stage. She can add in new visual elements. She can ad lib more towards the end. Or, well, this might not even be her song. So <laughs> I do think that is a song that is of good enough quality to be in a national final though. So it's believable if that was in a national final. The other thing is that if she did win, she can just do a revamp to add in a bit of spice. Because obviously they've got five, six months now to work on their song until May. They've got over six months from when they win the national final. Really, really great start. Let's get to the second song. We're gonna to go to Thomas Robin. He's singing Out of My Mind. And it does look, there's two Tomases in the songwriting. So I assume one of them is Thomas Robin. So Robin must be his artist's name. And yeah, he's a handsome chap. He's got a kind of like slightly alternative looking style. Uh, the song is called Out of My Mind. Wanna know my secret fan. Mm. I do get a Swedish feel in the opening there, but it's still early days. Yeah, nice build up. Yeah, it's going good so far. Got a singer songwriter kind of feel. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yes. Okay. That's a lovely beat. Very thumpy and bassy, really nice. Build. Okay, he's time to build. I would think it was surprised in the first verse because it sounded a bit tame and he looks a bit edgy, but then the chorus gave the edge I wanted, so that was nice. That's why I was a bit flat in the first verse. Okay. The, the verses sound kind of, I didn't say they sound Mel Festy. But they're a little bit more, they're not as edgy as the chorus, definitely. Here we go. Yeah. This is really good quality. Very well produced. Uh, it just sounds well done, well written. Yeah, that's a lovely progression. Beautiful electronic elements there. Love that synthy, synthy bait, synthy pop. I want it to really explode now. Yeah. It's very solid. It doesn't have the type of edge I kind of expect from Czechia. It's really, really, really solid. It could be in Norway National Final, Swedish National Final. It's got a little bit of universality about it. Lovely ad at the end of this. is really gorgeous. I'll definitely download this. Yeah, it's really high quality. Really, really, really nice. That was that was really good quality. I do feel like the, the choruses were better than the verses, which is pretty common for a lot of pop songs anyway. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I am, we did actually know that they were having trouble picking five songs and the head of delegation, is his name Jan Boris? Oh no, that's the old delegation. The head of delegation was saying that actually they chose seven this year because they weren't able to whittle it down. They weren't able to remove two of them. They said, screw it, we're just gonna go for seven instead. So like I'm getting it already. If those are two of the seven songs, I totally would also put them into a national final as well. So that's great that they're kind of adjusting the national final based on what they receive. Instead of saying like, you know, with Malta, they like, we have, we're gonna have 36 songs. It doesn't matter what we get, we're just gonna do 36. They are actually tailoring it to, if we receive more good ones, we'll do more. If we receive less, we'll do less. That's great. I think that's a cool, adjustable, flexible national final, really great. Okay, and then finally it, with the last song, it's Ellie singing the angel share that is another freaking super cool title the main songwriter is argyle singh so i wonder is that ellie's 
real name, I'm not sure. In any case, we're gonna go to the song, it's called The Angel Share by Ellie, one and on my secret plan. Mm. All these songs start very punchy, they start very quickly. She's got kind of like a vintage retro style in this photo. Okay, lovely starting, kind of like mystical. The angel share. That we pay to heaven, okay. Okay. Nice build up, that feels like the pre course. Okay, this is definitely like building up anticipation. I'm getting some slight tattoo vibes in the production, the electronic production. Okay, chorus. The construction feels very similar to tattoo. Was that the chorus? I think so. It definitely feels like it's building up intensity as we go along. Nice, nice little tappy. It's making me think of the forest for some reason. I like a forest beat. I learned to love again. Ooh. Okay, it's very tattoo-esque, but it's still good. It feels different from tattoo. It feels like it's come from a different country, but the, the template's the same. Really lovely though. She's singing very nicely. And it's giving me lots of Game of Thrones as well, especially this part. Okay, building up into a climax. Yeah. It feels like Game of Thrones tattoo. <laughs> Sorry to keep saying it, but it does really remind me of that. Just build I do like songs that build up that intensity though. I feel like we're definitely in the final course. Hmm. Yeah. I was kind of hoping there was just gonna be a little bit extra at the end there where she kind of went into like, when she went off script and went into some lovely like whirling, flirling ad-libs all over the place, kind of very singy, but that didn't happen. Still very high quality. I have to admit now, I possibly had slightly expectations for that because that's the song I've seen the biggest reaction to online. I don't think I've seen anything said about the other two. Just Ellie, everyone kind of saying Ellie's their winner. That could just be the people that I follow on Twitter though. Of those three, yeah, really, really high quality. I don't know if something like jumped out to me like this is a winner. You know, when you hear your, a song that ends up being in your top 10 of the year. But actually, funny, I remember that Lights Out by We Are Dami. When I did that video, it was my number three song in that final. And it ended up being in my top 10 for the whole year. So definitely you can hear songs and they don't have that impact initially. And then as they grow and you, you just fall in love with them. So I have to admit, actually, I probably enjoyed Thomas Robin the most. It felt like the most complete song. It maybe sounded the least unique of the three. Did it actually? The verse didn't sound very unique. The chorus, I thought, sounded really, really cool. Um, I really want to hear that Czech sound, that different, edgy kind of way. They don't have to do that. That's just me. I love hearing that unique viewpoint from Czechia. They don't need to cater to my wishes. They can do whatever the hell they want. But yeah, that is one of the things that I kind of look forward to because there are lots of countries you kind of will just always go by numbers. And then there's places like Georgia and Czechia where you can kind of hope to get something that's really unusual or different. I'm really happy with those three so far. If they are the actual songs, maybe they aren't. If they were the songs, I would be happy. And we've got four more to come. One of them actually, we have the name, is from Jana Lay called Starlet. We've only got three sevenths of the songs, potentially, and I still think that they've got something pretty decent there. I would hope that there would be some sort of revamp as well. They've got six months to work on it. My number one of those three, I find it really hard. I think they're all quite different, and I think they're actually all quite on a high level. I, lyrically, I liked Red Flag Parade the most. Production-wise, I think I liked Thomas Robin the most, and Ellie, I think, definitely is gonna be the fan favorite because it does have that pop progression tattoo feel. So what's my favorite? I don't know, I feel like actually gravitating towards Thomas Robin for some reason. 
And it's really hard to put the other two. I would probably say maybe Ellie by like one hundredth of a percentage. I think the deciding factor which will help me separate them will be the live performances, what they do. So I'm so looking forward to this final on Monday, uh, December 4th. I would have gone to it if it wasn't for the fact that that's actually the day I'm flying back to Dublin. So just a little bit unlucky with the timing there because I would have loved to have gone to that. Prague is such a beautiful city. We're really excited for this national final. It's gonna be so much fun. Which of these three songs did you like? Which one jumped out to you? Which do you think could win and go to Malmo? Obviously, you can't really guess which one's gonna win because you don't know what the other four are and you don't know if these three are the real ones. So lots of ifs, but let's just assume these are the three and one of those three has to go. Who would you pick? Thank you so much to Myra and Corgi and Mum for supporting me on Buy Me Coffee. Also big thank you to RLK for supporting me on PayPal. If you wanna support the channel, I'll leave links for you in the description. But as always, thank you so much just for watching. And of course, thank you to all my amazing patrons all over the world who can listen to my copyright free versions of my reaction videos and they get updates about what's coming up on my channel. And I post some like little mini exclusive behind the scenes stuff sometimes as well. So go check that out if you're a fan of the channel. All right, that's it for today. If more Czech songs are released, I will do separate videos for them. These are the only three that are available now. Who knows what could come out between now and December 4th. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another Eurovision reaction video very soon. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah.